sing that shit. Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing my pet safe dog door. I've had this just over three years now since I bought the house and I'll go over the pros and cons as well as some secret tips that I found during that time. Uh, so to start, I'll just give a quick overview. Uh, this is like a permanent insert into the door. So uh, you actually have to screw it into the wall uh, in the top and the bottom bottom and I think in the middle because it's been so long I don't remember exactly how many attachment points it is um, it does come with uh, this extra little thing that you have to consider so if you're going to do like a security system normally it would go on the sliding door which you could see it does and then normally it would go on uh, the frame but because I have the dog door it goes on the dog door so if you ever take this out you have to move that over as well and so I'm not sure if I could do that myself or if that requires me calling the security guy to fix so if you get a system keep that in mind um, the other thing too is uh, this weather stripping here is not uh, like it's not perfect so uh, I think I had to buy that separately as well. You could see there's a little bit of a gap down at the bottom. So there is cold air flowing in. There's also a gap here and a gap here uh, and a little bit at the bottom. So there's constantly air flowing in and out of the house uh, through this gap at the bottom. So in the wintertime, it gets really cold, uh, especially right after a snow. There is this... Uh, little slide in gate and it's supposed to lock and you're supposed to be use this to unlock it as a latch but uh, it doesn't really work like that it's supposed to in theory but it doesn't really in practice and I'm not uh, exactly sure why it has never really it's these these little claws right here are supposed to catch on this and prevent anyone from coming in from behind I I do think that uh, you can't, when you're outside, I don't think you could stick your hand in and lift this. Um, but it just doesn't function, like it doesn't lock the way that it should. I'm not sure if that's just mine or if that's a general thing. Also, you could see that over the three years that we've had this, this has stained quite a bit because it was... Uh, it was kind of like this color, almost like a clear color. And so the sun has stained this because the sun comes up over those mountains over there and then uh, it hits this all day long until the evening. Uh, so those are some of like how it works. Now this is a really great system because it allows us to close this at night when the dog's not gonna go out and then we could just open this in the morning and she can come in and out all day long as she pleases. Whereas before we had to come over and unlock the door, open the door and all that. Uh, we have a screen door too. You can see it right there. It is not ever anywhere other than there because if we close it, the dog can't come in and out. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, and then the last thing too is, so when you have a regular screen door, you have this little weather strip here on the, the outside frame. This is the back frame right here. And when you close the door all the way, it lines up with this. And so that keeps the cold air in and out, or it keeps the cold air from moving in and out. It keeps bugs from coming in and out because the door is partly open all the time, right? Because it slid over that much. What happens is, you have an open gap in the back. So I had to buy another weather strip here and put it on myself. And unfortunately that didn't fill the gaps completely. So I put this little packing stuff in. I, I cut this from uh, just different things. I cut it out and I cut it at different shapes and I have to keep that in there because there's, there's a gap right there. You can't see it, but I can feel the cold air rushing in. And sometimes uh, during the worst parts of the summer when there's lots of flies, they are able to come in through here. We get flies in the house. So this helps uh, keep it, keep some of the cold air from coming in 
in the winter because it's a lot of cold air that comes in in the winter and it keeps some of the cold air from going out in the summer and it keeps some of the bugs from coming in but we still have a fly problem for like a month every year so that's uh i i'm not sure what a better solution is to that uh that is my solution and it seems to be an okay stopgap but it's not perfect so uh those are all things to consider with the pet safe it is nice though because like i said the dog can come in and out freely throughout the day and so sometimes she'll just go out and sit on the porch and she has the freedom that we otherwise wouldn't have if we leave we know that she's okay uh doesn't have to go uh potty in the house and things like that so it does give you a peace of mind but it does come with some trade-offs so hopefully this was eye-opening enough uh i do really like this product uh i would never take it out after i have it in because it works so well um for us even given those downsides uh, I forgot to mention too, this is adjustable height uh, at the top there. That little panel is adjustable. So this is a really tall door, but uh, if you have a shorter door or, uh, you know, just make sure that it matches the site at the height, but it is adjustable. That like is a spring that goes up and down and then you just screw it into the height that you need. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.